So what I'm going to basically just talk to you about is the outline of what we had proposed to the Water Environment Research Foundation and the Paul L. Bush Foundation. This is essentially conversion of digester gas, specifically converting methane present in digester gas to uh, liquid fuel methanol. This is how we essentially process uh, biological wastewater treatment, uh, biological wastewater today. And I think this is a term, wastewater at least, should, uh, should be out of vogue fairly shortly. But anyway, this is how we do things today. We have wastewater coming in and we process the wastewater through a variety of anaerobic, anoxic, and aerobic processes. But even before the wastewater comes in, this is what we actually do to water today when we consume it. And uh, we essentially, we change the chemical composition of the water that we consume. We add more carbon, we add more nitrogen, and we add more phosphorus to it. And then we employ treatment technologies such as this to take out the carbon, to take out the nitrogen, and take out the phosphorus. And this is essentially what we do. The organic carbon that we put into the wastewater is consumed and oxidized to carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. The nitrogen which comes in in the form of ammonia and organic nitrogen is converted to nitrogen gas by spending a lot of energy and resources. Sometimes when things don't work very well, again a project funded by WORF, uh, some of the ammonia is converted to nitrous oxide and nitric oxide. N2O and NO are both very, very potent ozone depleting substances and uh, N2O is also a, a very potent greenhouse gas. The organic phosphorus that comes in is converted to a mixture of organic and inorganic phosphorus, some of it is, which is recovered, a large part of which so far at least has remained uh, unrecovered. We generate biomass, more cells in this process. The biomass is in, in some cases digested to produce methane. A lot of the methane which is produced is, uh, is underutilized. If you, if you drive down the West Side Highway in New York City, you'll see a lot of flares uh, uh, burning ba basically methane. So this is, this is what we are doing today. There are several things which are not, do not make a lot of sense with this. Essentially, what, if, if you look at nitrogen alone, we spend, if we expand the envelope a little bit, what we do is we spend lots of energy and resources converting dinitrogen gas into ammonia for fertilizers. We produce crops, we excrete the waste, we spend a lot of energy converting the ammonia back to nitrogen gas. So we are back where we started, but we have spent a lot of energy. So this, I, I won't elaborate much further, but a lot of these things are wrong. Respect to water, what we are essentially doing is this one-shot model of taking water, changing the composition, and discharging it, and maybe treating it. And this is really, what we are doing is water mining. This is exactly what we are doing here, and really things need to change. And that really set the tone for the, for the proposal that I had submitted to the Paul Bush Award. So if we now stop using the term wastewater, maybe we can recognize that there are resources present in wastewater. They can be related to carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. We know what to do with these, uh, with these elements. We have been doing this for a, lot of, uh, for a lot of years. We just need to integrate and unify the concepts that, we've, that we have developed and uh, aim them towards recovering resources, not just blindly transforming them to endpoints which are not really viable. So just to give you an example of carbon, the, the reduced organic matter in, in waste can be, can be converted to acetic acid, can be converted to precursors of pharmaceutical manufacture, and so on and so forth. But there's still, uh, there, there's still a lot to be recovered. The endpoint does not have to be methane, does not have to be electricity, can be a mixture of all of these. Nitrogen can also be recovered in the form of, uh, of fertilizers. Phosphorus, if, uh, if there have been statements uh, to the effect that we will probably run out of phosphorus before we run out of petroleum, this could be true, but in any case, this needs to be addressed. And again, so the, the, the consistent theme that keeps coming back is that really the term wastewater may not be valid anymore. And again, I've heard Glenn say this, water is water. We use water and then, then we reuse water, hopefully. And then again, the catalysts that we employ uh, don't have to be bacteria. They can be algae, they can be or other higher level organisms as well. Okay, why methanol? Uh, well, essentially, we have heard a lot about uh, the other alcohol, ethanol, in the last few years, and there have been, there have been some attempts to, uh, to, to go through into the ethanol economy. There have been some mistakes made, and methanol has really been taking a, a back seat, but we should not forget that methanol is, uh, in many cases, an even more attractive compound than methanol. I can tell you, uh, in a wastewater plant, methanol is probably a safer bet because uh, operators cannot drink the methanol. But, uh, 
But in any case, methanol is also the precursor to, uh, to uh, several industrially relevant compounds. And just to give you a, just to give you a snapshot, if we just look at uh, an average household, methanol is featured in almost every sphere. So methanol is a very important precursor to a lot of synthetic organic compounds. And potentially, uh, we as engineers and scientists should be able to recover some methanol from all the organics that we are putting in through into, into sewage. The methanol <coughs> which we use today is primarily derived from natural gas and it is no surprise that the price of methanol is then tied to the price of natural gas. This, is, this schematic is, uh, is uh, current as of 2008 and after that there was some reduction in the price but now methanol prices have started to go back up again. Uh, and this is something that we can avoid again if we recognize that we could potentially form methanol uh, from some of the organics that we, that we are processing in sewage. Uh, there is also a very important link to wastewater from this, from this chart. Uh, prices of methanol are going up, but the nitrogen standards are coming down. So methanol is still one of the most widely used external carbon donors for uh, denitrification today. And as the nitrogen limits come progressively down, the operating costs of uh, nitrogen removal are going to progressively increase as well. So again, we should look for possible strategies to kind of offset some of these challenges. And uh, this is a very real example I give. In around 2007, there was an abrupt stoppage of methanol supply to a plant in the mid-Atlantic, which then resulted in excessive discharges of uh, nitrogen into the receiving water body. The demand of methanol is not only for, uh, for wastewater treatment. Again, as I said, uh, methanol is the precursor to compounds like formaldehyde, MTB, acetic acid, and so on and so forth. Uh, and this is just, uh, just to show you that the demand even for methanol has, has really been going up. What are some other applications of methanol? The dimeric form of methanol, dimethyl ether, uh, is a very useful fuel additive. Uh, in this respect, China has been making, China is probably today one of the highest producers, biggest producers of methanol. And what they do with methanol over there is to add it to gasoline uh, and they form uh, M. XX, uh, so methanol a added gasoline, like we do with ethanol in this country. Uh, there's also been a lot of research going on with General Motors and Volvo and Saab in Scandinavia to have uh, DME or dimethyl ether powered uh, vehicles as well. Methanol also finds more and more application today in the transesterification reactions that we use to form biodiesel. Uh, it can be from organic feedstocks with or without algae. Methanol can also be directly used in chemical fuel cells. So there are a lot of potential applications of methanol, but even before, I mean, even beyond all of this, methanol is a liquid fuel which is far more easy to transport than designing and putting in systems for, uh, for, for conveying, uh, let's say, the precursor, methane. All right, and I just wanted to put this uh, forward also. Uh, one of my first Water Environment Research Foundation projects was, uh, as pa was part of the, is part of the WERF Nutrient Challenge project, and uh, there the objective was for us to identify and characterize the active methylotrophic population denitrifying, uh, present in denitrifying activated sludge. Uh, 